today I'm going to show you how to take two boxes, make them into one big box so you can ship out your odd size package. Let's get started. This box measures 30 inches. Actually, it's a little longer than 30 inches, so I need to put two boxes together. So, the easiest way is to find a box that definitely fits around it. This one does, but it's too short. So we're going to put two of these together. So, we make this box with tape. Tape it up. Over here. Okay. Just like so. Then we take another one. Then, in the box, you want to look for the side that has this piece here where it's, t it's glued together. That's the stability of the box. We don't want to cut that, so we're going to end up cutting the other end. So, zoom in on this. This is the part where it's been glued, so we're going to cut this part down. Straight down. Straight down. Okay. Next, take this, this piece is here. Let me get the next box. Same thing. Cut it down. I'm going to take out this piece. Oops, I cut it a little bit too much. Let me trim that a little bit. A little bit of the cardboard came loose. Fold that tape up. This one. Take this one off also. Fold the tape up. And you have two boxes. So you're going to squeeze them together to the length you need. That's probably about right. Let me measure. We need at least 31, probably 32 inches would be better. This is 33, so this will be perfect. And then you can go ahead and begin to close up your box. I added some paper. For cushion on the bottom. You can see I haven't taped them together yet. Use this cardboard that we cut out. Just put it in the center for a little more stability. Grab your package, put it in, okay, and then do your paper around the edges, cardboard on the top, and seal it up. Okay, I've got my cardboard underneath this. Put the item in, put the packing paper around it, now I'm going to put another piece of cardboard, which is the one we cut off, on top to give it a little more stability, a little more paper, and I'm going to go ahead and um, seal it up afterwards. We've got it all packed inside, but we still need to seal this box up. Sometimes these bigger boxes, when you put two together, are a little tricky to seal up, so you might need a hand uh, folding it up. Let me show you how we do it. I've got a helper helping in here. I'm going to seal it up. Take a little bit of extra force because the box is together. So you want to do the center really tight. Then we'll go top to bottom here. You can see there's a little bit of gap. You can put, grab me that piece of cardboard. We can put a little piece of cardboard inside to also help with stability. But it should be fine either way. That way just people won't see it. Got a little cardboard there. Okay, and I'm going to seal it. Go ahead down further. And then the last thing I want to do, the box you can see is all sealed, but we have to do the sides better. So I'm going to go around the sides here. Okay, that's good. Next, to make it look better for your customers, you want to use some brown tape. So let me get a different packing tape. And put some brown tape on. I'm going to go all the way around for more stability. Get my knife to cut the tape. And bring it all the way down again. And likewise, I'm going to go around the center. Once. 
Tampa. And we have this box pretty much ready to roll now. It's all in great shape. You can see it's very stable. It's got plenty of packing. And it's good to be shipped. All you need last is to decorate it. And I'll put a little bit of eBay tape on it. I hope this helped you. Thanks for watching.